God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We lift our voice in song To Joseph chaste and strong Beneath whose guiding hand The Son of Man became a man You wed the Spirit's spouse and led into your house, the house of David's line, the shoot that bore the true vine. In dreams the vision came to him who bore your name. In dreams came God's command, you brought the sun to Egypt's land. So in our final need, O Joseph, intercede, that we Alleluia! The stone was rolled back from the entrance to the tomb. Alleluia! I will give you glory, O God, my King. I will bless your name forever. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever. The Lord is great, highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. Age to age shall proclaim your works shall declare your mighty deeds, shall speak of your splendor and glory, tell the tale of your wonderful works. They will speak of your terrible deeds, recount your greatness and might. They will recall your abundant goodness. Age to age shall ring out your justice. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love, how good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The, the stone, stone was rolled back from the entrance to the tomb. Alleluia. Alleluia. Woman, who is it you are looking for? Why do you seek the living among the dead? Alleluia. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God. To make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign, yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, woman, who, who is, is it you are looking for? Why do you seek the living among the dead? Alleluia. Alleluia. Do not weep, Mary. The Lord has risen from the dead. Alleluia. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who are bowed down. The eyes of all creatures look to you, and you give them their food in due time. You open wide your hand, 
Grant the desires of all who live. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. He grants the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and he saves them. The Lord protects all who love him, but the wicked he will utterly destroy. Let me speak the praise of the Lord. Let all mankind bless his holy name forever, for ages unending. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Do not weep, Mary. The The Lord has has risen from from the the dead. dead. Alleluia. My whole body rejoices, Alleluia. With all my strength I will praise my God, Alleluia. From the book of Revelation, I, John, watched while the Lamb broke open the first of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures cry out in a voice like thunder, Come forward. To my surprise, I saw a white horse. Its rider had a bow, and he was given a crown. He rode forth victorious to conquer yet again. When the lamb broke open the second seal, I heard the second living creature cry out, Come forward. Another horse came forth, a red one. Its rider was given power to rob the earth of peace by allowing men to slaughter one another. For this, he was given a huge sword. When the lamb broke open the third seal, I heard the third living creature cry out, Come forward! This time, I saw a black horse, the rider of which held a pair of scales in his hand. I heard what seemed to be a voice coming from in among the four living creatures. It said, A day's pay for a ration of wheat, and the same for three of barley, but spare the olive oil and the wine. When the lamb broke open the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature cry out, Come forward! Now I saw a horse, sickly green in color. Its rider was named Death, and the netherworld was in his train. These four were given authority over one quarter of the earth to kill with sword and famine and plague and the wild beasts of the earth. When the Lamb broke open the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the spirits of those who had been martyred because of the witness they bore to the word of God. They cried out at the top of their voices, How long will it be, O Master, holy and true, before you judge our cause and avenge our blood among the inhabitants of the earth? Each of the martyrs was given a long white robe, and they were told to be patient a little while longer until the quota was filled of their fellow servants and brothers to be slain, as they had been. When I saw the Lamb break open the sixth seal, there was a violent earthquake. The sun turned black as a goat's hair tent cloth, and the moon grew red as blood. The stars in the sky fell crashing to earth like figs shaken loose by a mighty wind. Then the sky disappeared as if it were a scroll being rolled up. Every mountain and island was uprooted from its base. The kings of the earth, the nobles and those in command, the wealthy and powerful, the slave and the free, all hid themselves in caves and mountain crags. They cried out to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us! Hide us from the face of the one who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. The great day of their vengeance has come. Who can withstand it? I heard the voices of those who had been slain, crying out from under the altar, Why do you not avenge our blood? The Lord answered, 
Be patient a little while longer until the full number of your brothers joins you. Alleluia. They were given white robes to wear, and he said to them, Be patient a little while longer until the full number of your brothers joins you. Alleluia. From the first apology in defense of the Christians by Saint Justin, martyr. No one may share the Eucharist with us unless he believes that what we teach is true, unless he is washed in the regenerating waters of baptism for the remission of his sins, and unless he lives in accordance with the principles given us by Christ. We do not consume the Eucharistic bread and wine as if it were ordinary food and drink. For we have been taught that as Jesus Christ, our Savior, became a man of flesh and blood by the power of the word of God, so also the food that our flesh and blood assimilates for its nourishment becomes the flesh and blood of the incarnate Jesus by the power of his own words contained in the prayer of thanksgiving. The apostles, in their recollections, which are called gospels, handed down to us what Jesus commanded them to do. They tell us that he took bread, gave thanks, and said, Do this in memory of me. This is my body. In the same way he took the cup, he gave thanks and said, This is my blood. The Lord gave this command to them alone. Ever since then, we have constantly reminded one another of these things. The rich among us help the poor, and we are always united. For all that we receive, we praise the creator of the universe through his Son, Jesus Christ, and through the Holy Spirit. On Sunday, we have a common assembly of all our members, whether they live in the city or the outlying districts. The recollections of the apostles or the writings of the prophets are read as long as there is time. When the reader has finished, the president of the assembly speaks to us. He urges everyone to imitate the examples of virtue we have heard in the readings. Then we all stand up together and pray. On the conclusion of our prayer, bread and wine and water are brought forward. The president offers prayers and gives thanks to the best of his ability. And the people give assent by saying, Amen. The Eucharist is distributed. Everyone present communicates and the deacons take it to those who are absent. The wealthy, if they wish, may make a contribution, and they themselves decide the amount. The collection is placed in the custody of the president, who uses it to help the orphans and widows and all who for any reason are in distress, whether because they are sick, in prison, or away from home. In a word, he takes care of all who are in need. We hold our common assembly on Sunday because it is the first day of the week, the day on which God put darkness and chaos to flight and created the world, and because on that same day, our Savior, Jesus Christ, rose from the dead. For he was crucified on Friday, and on Sunday, he appeared to his apostles and disciples and taught them the things we have passed on for your consideration. When he was about to pass from this world to the Father, Jesus established a memorial of his death. He gave us the sacrament of his body and blood. Alleluia. He gave us his body as food, his blood as drink, and he said, do this in memory of me. He gave us the sacrament of his body and blood. 
Alleluia. You are God, we praise you. You, you are, are the Lord, Lord we, acclaim we acclaim you. You are the Eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Let us pray. God, our Father, by raising Christ, your Son, you conquered the power of death, and opened for us the way to eternal life. Let our celebration today raise us up and renew our lives by the Spirit that is within us. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks. <laughs> 